Welcome to the Vikings Garage. So my FJ Cruiser video caused such a big mess that I decided to make another one. This time to let you guys know what are my favorite things about this beautiful machine. Because after all, I think you guys got mis mistaken. I love FJ Cruisers. I ended up not buying one, but that doesn't mean I don't like them. Stay tuned. This car is capable of towing over 4,000 pounds. That is by all means a big plus, especially for those that, uh, you know, want to tow all kinds of things, boats, lawn mowers, you name it, jet skis. This is the car for you. We'll start off with the exterior. As you can see, this one is uh, one color scheme. That's usually a telltale sign, guys, that uh, it is a trail edition. I actually don't remember the year on this one. Shame on me, I should have known better. I usually know these things. Uh, 2010. All right, so 2010 was the cream scheme, top, bottom, because they usually do come white on the top. As you can see, the hood has been blacked out and those wheels have been added on. This is a base model. You can tell by the black trim pieces there on the bumper. Looks like I did an awful job covering the license plate. Anyways, hopefully the owner can forgive me. This is a customer's car, of course. But this one looks really nice. What do you guys think? It has a very mild lift. I'm sure the FJ guy, FJ Cruiser guys can tell already. There are spacers on the very top of the strut towers. I don't know if you can see there. Yeah, that's not OEM, but it's a very small lift. I think uh, it, it sits well in this vehicle. It's not too exaggerated. It looks nice. So uh, what's your f favorite tra trail edition color, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Small little quirky thing here in the trunk. So because the wind could potentially close this, this gate, Toyota made it so it won't. You pull this, lock it in place. See, can't move it. You unlock it and voila, that is pretty cool. This one is equipped. You know, you got your power outlet back here, like most do. This one does have the extra subwoofer, pretty neat. Those seats, they fold uh, down flat, so that's pretty uh, useful. Love these wheels, these are super nice. Uh, obviously not uh, too big, these are 16 inch, but they just about clear the calibers. I don't know if you guys can see the calibers back there, but you got maybe half an inch between the caliber and the wheel. So that's a plus plus. It's got beefy tires too, so that's nice. As I mentioned before, I love the roof rack on the FJ Cruisers, man. I mean, it, it really gives the car a really nice, mean look. This is the Trail Teams Edition. It's got the plaque there and on the back. This one has got the cream scheme on the door cards, center console there, and uh, on the seats. Um, yeah, cool. Another cool little uh, quirky thing. See this guy? That's supposed to mimic uh, the handle of a shovel. A lot of people don't know that, but uh, that's what that is. See, this one even has a Bluetooth installed there. Pretty sure that's a factory installed uh, option. Um, as I mentioned before, I love that. That's really neat. This one does have the backup camera on the mirror. Now a thing that these cars have in case you're getting hit with the sun you've got this uh, visor there that you can fold down see that that's really cool and obviously you got this one there uh, these cars have plenty of storage space starting with one glove box there and then your regular glove box like most of your regular cars yeah it's a very spacious car and like I said, the rear seats do fold down flat, which is, uh, in my book, that's a plus plus. I'll show you guys in a second. This makes a lot of room back there. And another thing, guys, this I found out not too long ago. You can actually get rid of this guy right here by undoing these uh, pieces right here. You undo those two and this whole piece comes off. 
and makes a whole lot of room back there. You can carry all kinds of stuff. Cup holders, this car's got plenty of cup holders for you. One there, another one there, another one there, one there, one there, and the same on the other side. And you could technically put more cups or bottles in there too. So another neat and cool thing about this car. A lot of people are not even aware of this, but uh, did you know you could literally hose down the interior of an FJ Cruiser? So if you went uh, off-roading, you got your muddy boots in here, you can technically put a little bit of water inside because that's the way they insulated the interior with that in mind. So that's pretty neat. And last but not least, people ask me, so why do you like the FJ Cruiser so much? Look at it, man. It's a piece of art. This is a car that should have never, they should have never stopped making this car here in the US. It's beautiful. It uh, serves its purpose. It's awesome off-roading. And uh, I don't know, man, I might actually buy one one day. But yeah, I love it so much because of the way it looks. I mean, let's look at it. I always turn and look when one passes by. Why? Because I love the design, that's why. And I think Toyota should have never stop making it. But anyhow, I hope I redeem myself. Guys, stay safe out there and uh, please subscribe. I could use uh, more subscribers to keep this channel going. Thank you for watching.